Hello and welcome to Wednesday Off. Our topic for discussion today, the book 110 and a little problem I discovered with it. Some time ago I tested the standard book 110 clip point in 420HC steel and I was very impressed with the slicing ability of that knife. However, even as I ordered it, I was mentally kicking myself for not ordering the fancier drop point hunter in S30V steel. I couldn't get this knife out of my mind, so I ordered it. My other book 110 I gave to my good friend Thomas, who had given me a great deal of help in my channel. For instance, it was he who gave me the ration pack I reviewed and the British Army knife, which however turned out to be a Belgian Army knife, but that's another story. So in due course, this beauty arrived. Now the clip points are said to be fragile, and I have it on good authority from somebody I trust that the tip broke off their clip point knife after knocking against the sharpening stone. So that's why I wanted a drop point blade. The S30V steel is of course a premium steel, harder and tougher than the 420HC. So this is the same as the standard Buck 110, only better in every way. Or is it? Well, when I started to use it, I found there was a fly in the ointment. Actually, there was a big hairy blue bottle wriggling around in the ointment. It was not able to slice anything like as well as the standard book. It just simply didn't do it. I was very annoyed over this, but also curious. I decided I would get another standard book 110 to compare. My plan was to get my work colleague, who was planning a trip to the US, to pick one up for me. They are much cheaper in the States than they are over here. This is where my story gets a little complicated. Through YouTube I have made a good friend in the US. Let's just call him Jim. If you think I know everything about knives, I can tell you I do not. Jim has been a huge help to me, advising me about case knives, GEC knives, different steels, and providing me with links to good deals on, on various knives. And I've said it before, I've got a great deal of help from many guys, but especially Jim. I told him about my plan to get another Buck 110. He said nothing, but shortly after these arrived in the mail. A standard Buck 110 and a book 673-BK, the Booklight Max. I'm very, very grateful for these, and I'll have to be careful what I say to him in future. So thanks very, very much, Jim. I really, really appreciate it. Let's just set this aside for the moment. So, now I had both knives, and I was able to compare them, and I was able to find out what was wrong with my fancy drop point hunter. And I'll show you here with my calipers. So I measured the blades and I found that the primary bevel in the S30V Ultimate Hunter is thicker than in the standard Buck 110. Let's see if we can show you that. I hope, I hope it's obvious on camera, but the calipers, the calipers goes much deeper in the standard Buck 110 than it does in the S30V. So this this portion of the, of the blade right right behind the edge where the where the edge bevel ends is much is much thicker in the S30V knife than it is in this cheaper book. Now I don't think this is randomly done. I don't have great experience with S30V steel, but I suspect it may be chippier, and that's why Buck left the bevel wider here, to give the blade a bit more support. People look for different things in knives, with some it's appearance, with others it's perhaps exclusivity of the steel, 
with others it's perfect fit and function but with with me it's slicing ability what's a knife for a knife is meant to cut and slice in my book I'm not into batoning I want my, my knife to slice and the better a knife the better a knife is able to slice the better a knife it is in my mind so now that I know what the problem is with my S30V uh, Buck 110 I need to fix it I'm going to remove steel from the bevel thin it out and see if we can get it a slice as well as the standard Buck 110 so here we are I've been asked a few times about knife sharpening and to be honest I've been a little embarrassed because all I use is this Norton oil stone this is the coarse side it's I'm not sure what the grit is but it's pretty coarse I don't normally use it but I will on this occasion just to remove metal so here goes nothing To be honest, this is not something I wanted to do with my with my nice new uh, buck knife. But as I say, if it doesn't slice well, it's useless to me. So I'm going to work away, and I'll, I'll bring you back when I'm on the finer grit. Okay, guys, I've been sharpening away for quite some time. And I've come to the realization that this this is not going to be a quick fix. This is going to take a lot of time. I've not made very much headway. If we take the calipers, just to show you, if we take the calipers, hopefully you can see that, and compare the two blades. Can you see that? That really penetrated a lot more. We can see that the standard Buck 110 here at the cutting edge at the bevel is much much thinner than in this S30 V knife. And in my book anyway, a thin blade will always, always out slice a thick blade. What the hell is the point of S30 V steel? is to give you a big thick wide bevel that won't penetrate you know what I mean so I'm going to wrap this video up now guys this is just going to take too much time to make one video out of it this is going to take this is going to take days of work nice and working nice and carefully on it to reduce it to the same thinness as the standard book 110 and to be honest based on what I found here I couldn't recommend this S30V book knife if they're all as thick as this. If you want a working knife that slices well, go with your ordinary standard book 110. There's a very interesting video by a clever fellow by the name of Cliff Stamp. He found that blade thickness, edge thickness, edge angle, blade grind steepness, etc., of a knife has much more to do with its cutting ability and edge retention than the type of steel used to make the knife. And I'll put a link to that video in the description. It's a very interesting video. So there you have it guys, if you want a good working knife, a good slicing knife, just go with your standard Buck 110. Don't mind your fancy steels. Handsome is as handsome does, and this does very handsomely. I'd be very interested to hear from any of you chaps out there who have both knives, both the S30V and the ordinary Buck 110s. If you could measure your blade thickness or your edge thick, your bevel thickness and see if uh, you find the same results that I have, I'd be very interested to find out. So there you have it guys, if you want a working knife, a good slicing knife, 
stick with your ordinary book 110 i think it's the better choice hope you enjoyed the video guys hope it was interesting and thanks very much for watching Vinny's day off bye bye